Welcome to the Farm Shop and Deli of the Year Awards 2020 in partnership with The Grocer, where we recognise the very best standards in speciality retail and celebrate the highest levels of service, product knowledge, innovation and community involvement. I'm Nigel Barton and with my co-chair of judges, Elaine Lem, we've travelled the length and breadth of the UK, outrunning storms and avoiding floods. We dropped in unannounced on some remarkable retailers. The quality of our finalists is phenomenally high, and not only do they patently care about their customers, but the sense of community they've exhibited, particularly recently, shows how fortunate we are to have such remarkable artisan food retailers in our midst. Surprised and delighted to win the awards. It was a, a fantastic day. Yeah, we really enjoyed uh, we really enjoyed our time at the show. Yeah. Uh, we use our own beef, pork, and lamb. Um, the vast majority of what you'll see in the counter is our own produce. If we need to top up a little bit, we'll go to the farmer next door or the farmer down the road that we know and trust. That's that's really our ethos in in what we produce in our butchery. The deli side of the business, um, it's all produced here on the farm. Uh, we have a bakery section, um, they produce all the pies, the breads, the tarts, the cakes, it's fresh daily. I'm really looking forward to being on the judging panel. Um, what I'd be looking for in an entry is more or less from my point of view the same uh, things that we look for in our farm shop, uh, so the day-to-day -day running of the business using local produce, um, looking at um, the eco-friendly aspects of it, um, yeah, and just their stock and supplies really. Because it's really fundamentally how a working farm operates but grows into something like this and it was why it was such a worthy winner. There's so much to see and do here. The provenance, traceability, good uh, agricultural husbandry, that's the key that underpins it. We have a huge range of things going on on the farm for all sorts of age groups. We've got sheep and ferret racing, the restaurants, farm shop. There's something for every member of the family to do here. When you're entering these awards, sell your business, um, get your message across in the same way as you would try to if you were marketing your business to customers. The, the judges are your customers, really. I think businesses should enter these awards if they've got a special story to tell because the judges, the judging panel that they're putting themselves in front of are second to none. They want to promote the British countryside, they want to promote that farm to fork relationship. And so if you are no ordinary business and you've got some special story to tell, please tell us. It was well worth entering the awards. We, uh, we, we've had so much exposure. It's, it's a really high profile award and we were absolutely delighted to win it. Now, if you don't win your category, please stay listening. You may well be a regional winner or one of our Newcomer of the Year finalists. And of course, one of our category winners will be picking up the ultimate accolade of being crowned Retailer of the Year. So do stay with us, please. It's time now for you to gather around your computers, smartphones and speakers as we get the Farm Shop and Deli of the Year Awards underway with Baker of the Year. Our finalists are Ashbourne Bakehouse, Derbyshire, Baker Tom's Bread, Red Ruth, Cornwall, Lovingly Artisan, Kendall, Cumbria, Mayfield Farm Bakery, Harlow, Essex. The judges said of our winner, 
It illustrates a great passion for handcrafted breads and really take into consideration the health aspects of their ingredients. They have an excellent synergy with local suppliers and are investing in a new retail and an education hub. But although expanding, they're careful not to lose sight of their beginnings. The winner, Baker of the Year 2020, Lovingly Artisan. Bravo! Yes, it's the second year running for this award-winning family-run bakery from Aidan and Catherine Monk and daughter Ailish, who continue to delight customers, including Prince Charles, and leading restaurateurs and chefs from their stalls on Altrincham Market and the bakery in Kendall. Their incredible range of outstanding artisan handcrafted bread includes a legendary naturally leavened sourdough, now considered Aidan's signature bake. Moving on to Butcher of the Year. Fabulous category with five brilliant finalists who are superb ambassadors for the butchery fraternity. And they are. From Leamington Spa in Warwickshire, Aubrey Allen. Poundbury in Dorset, Brace of Butchers. Kilkeel, Newry, County Down, Cunningham Butchers and Food Hall. East Barmore Farm, County Durham, Penshaw Farm Shop. And finally, in Devizes, Wiltshire, Walter Rose and Son. Judges said of our winner continues to show significant increases in turnover and footfall while embracing plastic-free and environmentally friendly practices, such as reusable packaging and refillable milk stations, a fabulous modern shop with a smart website, good community links, and a customer-first approach. Our winner is A Brace of Butchers. And they are, of course, Ben Black and Rob Owen. Well done to you too. They're our newcomers of the year in 2017 and they've continued to innovate from their purpose-built state-of-the-art 2,000 square foot building where aging sides of beef are the food heroes. Banbury is a pretty special place, as are our winning butchers, who are much valued by their grateful customers. Cheesemonger of the year, our finalists are the Pangborn Cheese Shop, Reading in Berkshire. George and Joseph Cheesemongers, Chapel Allerton, Leeds. Paxton and Whitfield, Stratford-upon-Avon, Warwickshire. Courtyard Dairy, Austwick, North Yorkshire. The Little Cheesemonger, Rithlan, Cluid. Judges said of our winner, fantastic out-and-out -out cheese shop with a real passion for promoting farm-made cheeses which are matured on site by staff with a great in-depth knowledge. These are real champions of the local community. Our winner, Cheesemonger of the Year, is... And, by the way, they pick up the accolade for being the best in the North West. So doubly good, as it's for Courtyard Dairy. Well done, Andy and Cathy Swinscoe. And to call the Courtyard Dairy a cheese shop is something of an understatement. Nestled in a beautiful location near Austwick, they boast one of the most impressive ranges of independent cheese makers in Britain. With some really beautiful, matured on-site examples. There's an organic wine shop, cheese museum, the cheese production room, which doubles as a teaching room for cheese making courses. And now there's a bustling cafe restaurant with an impressive cheese led menu with a raclette of the week. Delicatessen of the year. Finalists. Broad Bean Delicatessen Ludlow, Shropshire. Forest Deli, Colford, Gloucestershire. Hart Lane Deli, Ludlow, Shropshire. Panzers, St John's Wood, London. The Deli at Castle Ashby, Northampton. The Little Deli, Hitchin, Hertfordshire. The Norfolk Delicatessen, Hunstanton. Judges said, this is a large, thriving deli which continues to see good percentage increases in turnover while keeping to their traditional values and heritage. Their staff to customer ratio is amazing. Another good reason why this is a busy urban business. Our winner, Deli of the Year, also voted the best in the South East is Panzers of St John's Wood in London. Well done, Emma Parlons on the entry and of course to you, owner David Josephs. To see a 25% growth in a 75 year old business is superb and will put a big smile on the founder, Walter Vogel's face. Staff training is vigorous and ongoing and reflecting their cosmopolitan and workforce, they even provide English lessons. Farm shop of the year, large. Finalists are Belgove Larder Farm Shop, Strathtirum St Andrews Fife, Ben's Farm Shop, Buckfastly Devon, Chatsworth Estate Farm Shop and Cafe, Bakewell, Derbyshire, Farmer Copley's, Ravensnold Farm, Pontefract, West Yorkshire, 
Farndon Fields Farm Shop, Market Harbour, Leicestershire. Ludlow Farm Shop in Shropshire. Strawberry Fields Farm Shop and Restaurant, Lifton, Devon. Judges said, this farm shop is ambitious and forward thinking. A proper joined up business. Love the fact they're self-sufficient for electricity by eco-friendly means. Some talk the talk. These guys walk the walk. Our winner, who is also number one in the Southwest Strawberry Fields Farm Shop and Restaurant, Laura Mounts, along with the Mounts family. Well done to you. And it's a massive setup, but don't let that put you off as there are lots of little well thought out enclaves such as a jam and preserve station where everything is made in view of the customers. They're very proud of their agricultural lineage and display a full size tractor, I kid you not, astride their comprehensive vegetable selection. 98% of their baked goods are produced in their own bakery, recycling and container free underpin everything and they have a busy cafe, bar and restaurant on the ground floor with an event space upstairs all overlooking the glorious Devon countryside. Farm shop of the year, small. Find this are Aldercar Farm, Creeting St Mary, Suffolk. Minskip Farm Shop, Borough Bridge, North Yorkshire. Roots Farm Shop and Cafe, North Allerton, North Yorkshire. Welbeck Farm Shop, Worksop, Nottinghamshire. The judges said there's a really good use of social media with strong imagery. They were early adopters of the unpackaged format, champion raw milk, and is dedicated to having happy, educated and inspired staff. Our winner, who's also been voted the best retailer in the Midlands, is Welbeck Farm Shop. Welbeck goes from strength to strength, offering a clever, airy central space with many of the individual prep areas on display on the periphery. So you can see the bakers, the butchers and the pre-prepared meal makers at work. Not only are they really busy, but it's obvious everyone takes great pride in what they do. It's infectious as the customers appear equally proud of this fabulous farm shop. Fishmonger of the Year, finally saw. Bell's Fishmongers, Carlisle, Cumbria. Cross of York, in Newgate in York. The Fresh Fish Shop, Haywards Heath, West Sussex. World of Fish, Lowestoft, Suffolk. Judges said of our winner, sustainability and education are key and they continue to make a real success of being on the high street. It's traditional and how we expect fresh fish should be served. Our winner, Fishmonger of the Year, Cross of York. Established in 1956, Master Fishmonger Andrew Kenny now leads the fourth generation. He continues the family tradition in supplying a wide range of the finest sustainable, freshly caught and frozen fish from their stall on the York market. They supply not only their regular customers, but also chefs and restaurants and deliver nationwide. Food Hall of the Year. Finalists. Bent's Garden and Home, Warrington, Cheshire. Deli Fonseca, Liverpool. House of Brewer, Pit Lockery, Perth and Kinross. The Barn at 7 and Y, Westbury on 7, Gloucestershire. The Cree Food Co, Persia. Our judges have this to say. There's a huge focus on local sourcing, particularly in their excellent butchery department, combined with an enticing storefront. They face big existential challenges with a can-do attitude. Our winner, Food Hall of the Year, who's also our Scottish champion, that's because it's for Creef Food Co. This cavernous two-storey food hall on Creef Main Street is a haven of local produce, with an astonishing 150 suppliers from Scotland, with 85 from within 35 miles. All of this alongside general groceries, fruit and veg, and a vast array of drinks. The Creef Food Co. has it all including warm, friendly, knowledgeable staff. Green Grocer of the Year. Finalists for Elaine's Fruit and Veg, Leicester. KD Davis and Sons, Doncaster, South Yorkshire. Rafters, Driffield, East Yorkshire. Our judges had this to say. A marvellous to see a mature business that's still growing at a healthy rate. Driven by great commitment from the owners, they continue to recognise the value of existing customers while still actively hunting for new ones. A colourful stall is a joy to behold, and for those who can't get to see it, deliveries are made by the same familiar, friendly drivers every week. Our winner is Green Grocer of the Year, Katie Davis and Sons. Well done, Matthew Davis and the amazing performing Davis family and all your staff. The much-loved Yorkshire Greengrocer continues to grow and develop. Alongside their original 82-year-old business on Rotherham Market, they expanded to Doncaster, and now in the 21st century, 
their online business is flourishing, including delivery of seasonal hand-picked fruit and veg to homes, offices, shops, and even building sites. Online Business of the Year, finalists. Duke's Hill Ham Company, Telford in Shropshire. Milk and Moor, Aldershot, Hampshire. The Wasabi Company, Dorchester, Dorset. Two Farmers Chris, Ross on Wye, Hereford. Judges, whoa, great photography, including a fabulous team photo. They've added a blog to give another reason to visit the website. It was a huge commitment to staff training. This site is so much more than just functional. The winner, online business of the year, goes to Dukes Hill Ham Company. Well done to you. And from their small start with the curing of one style of ham, over the past 35 years, Dukes Hill Ham now produced an extensive range of cured meats, charcuterie, salami and puddings that even have a royal warrant to supply the Queen. Their online service is exemplary with excellent service. All products sustainably wrapped arrive on time and include useful marketing material. Village store and local shop of the year. Finalists are Brooks of York, Dornock Stores in Sutherland, Fetcham from the Cupboard, Ashted, Surrey, what a great name, Fittleworth Stores, Polborough, West Sussex. Over to you, judges. Absolutely at the heart of their community, with staff that span all ages, including D of E students. Profits are even reinvested into the community, and they provide a meeting place for local groups and combat isolation for older people. Well run with good business acumen. A winner, village store and local shop of the year, goes to Fittleworth Stores, Pulborough, West Sussex. Bravo to you, Alison Veltervaden. You run the show, but with great help from your community. And it is a remarkable example of how our communities come together to create a business that the residents really needed and were delighted to support. It's run by a combination of paid and volunteer staff, really many different generations. And apart from providing a well-stocked village shop and post office overlooking the playing fields, community hall, playground across the road from the village school, it has a cafe selling locally made produce. Bravo, the residents of Fittleworth. Newcomer of the year. Ten great finalists. Dornock Stores. Fetchum from the Cupboard. Fittleworth Stores. Forest Deli. The Barn at Seven and Y. The Creef Food Company. The Deli at Castle Ashby. The Little Cheesemonger. The Little Deli. Two Farmers Crisps. Judges said of our winner. They run supplier days, which are a great way of attracting those seeking providence, and they're strong on making their own branded ready meals. Another example of why they've enjoyed sustained, continued business growth. Bravo to you, because I can tell you that our newcomer of the year from this fabulous list is the Creef Food Co. Well done, Lindsay McDonald and all of you there in Creef, because this dynamic company right at the heart of a small Scottish town while well, you all work hard in promoting fantastic food and drink from across Scotland. The company is very involved with the local community, including Christmas Day when they provide a free lunch and company to anyone who lives alone in the area. And they welcome them into the store and cafe, which is closed otherwise. Brilliant, bravo, well done to you, Cree Food Co. East Anglia, winner of the year. Our judges said they really like the continental feel of the exterior of this shop. The interior is warm and higgledy piggledy, and yet actually wonderfully organised. The supporting video is well edited and gives you all the information you need, and having 75% of their stuff coming from local producers is a real bonus. East Anglia, retailer of the year, is the Norfolk Delicatessen. Well done, Mark and Rosie. Carcery, well done to you. They also have a great website, there's a nice clean feel, it's easy to navigate and they're well considered social media. It's a great way of attracting millennials and generation Z. They even have an online farmer's market. Northeast winner of the year. Over to you judges. There's a massive investment in their team and in, in effect, they provide a community support officer. They try and create something new, not always following others. Northeast winner of the year, regional winner goes to Farmer Copley's in Pontefract in West Yorkshire. Well done, Rob and Heather Copley. This much-loved farm shop is a dynamic business fueled with passion and showing significant growth despite having had a tough 2018. Farmer Copley has worked hard to regain lost ground while at the same time commendably still looking after and rewarding a crucial part of their business, their staff. Northern Ireland winner of the year. 
Judges said, for a hundred year old business, this one seems incredibly useful. And it's apparent that the fourth generation who are now at the helm continue to steer this business into new and rewarding uncharted waters. The winner for Northern Ireland, it is Cunningham Butchers and Food Hall, Kilkeel in County Down. Well done, James Cunningham and all of your crew. And well done, a century on. And the enthusiasm burns as bright as ever. And uh, not only do the Cunninghams work hard, but they've got a great inspired workforce. They do it all. They're farmers, butchers, food hall runners, bistro owners, and cocktail makers. Cunningham's team do all this with a collective smile on their faces and at remarkably accessible prices. This shop is the beating heart of the Kilkeel community. Who's the winner for Wales? Judges said, a small but impressive operation, with the owner taking her wares out to the community, particularly with popular school visits. Her cheese wedding cakes and sharing platters are really paying off. And she even has vegan cheese options. The winner, Welsh winner of the year, it is the little cheesemonger, Rithlan in Cluid. Yeah, Gemma Williams' hard work and determination really impressed our judges, combined with an attractive shop front and a practical website with the option to purchase online. She even had time to have a baby, somehow, amongst all of this. Well done, Gemma. Our last award, Retailer of the Year. Remarkable accolade. And out of all our category winners, I can tell you that the Retailer of the Year 2020 and our judges eulogised about this place. It was perfect community example, really inspired staff, beautiful setting, but a brilliantly run business always looking to improve itself. Retailer of the Year goes to the Courtyard Dairy. Andy and Cathy Swinsco, take a bow because you've built up the ultimate destination business, which can be spotted some miles away on the A65 in Austwick, just outside Settle. The Swinscoes and their young family live on site and have their own stock grazing in the surrounding fields. The idea of a cheese vending machine for emergency out of hours purchases is a stroke of genius and just an ex another example of how the Swinscoes inspire themselves, their 10 staff, and a legion of adoring customers. A truly worthy winner of our Retailer of the Year. Wow, wow, wow. What a fabulous group of finalists and winners you are. The best of the best. And I know you will be supporting your communities and suppliers at this very crucial time. I just want to say and finish by saying a vast thank you to all our judges, all 19 of them, including former Retailers of the Year. And of course, Elaine Lem and Claire Bowman and Antonia Green of William Reed, who without them, there would be no awards. So well done to you two. Thank you and take care.